Might be the first Christmas pageant in history where Joseph and the wise men get in a fight and Mary lights a stogie and hightails it with the baby. <laughs> the best Christmas pageant ever is warm and funny and one of my favorite stories I've ever come across. The whole movie is inspiring, like a bigger picture story about welcoming the other. I think this movie is for people like me who grew up loving Christmas and loving the story of Christmas, and then grown-ups like me who can sometimes lose touch with that. I want to be Mary, and Ralph wants to be Joe. And the angel of the Lord? Me! This book right here is very special to a lot of people, and I believe it's perfect and beautiful, and that means I have a big responsibility to get this movie right. We've seen, obviously, a lot of romance about Christmas, <laughs> and we've seen a ton of comedy Christmas and Santa Christmas, but I haven't really seen a movie that could reach all the demographics, like a nativity Christmas story. They tried to kill me again. That show business, pal. I think this movie is for anybody that loves Christmas, but I think it's even more so for people that have a very nostalgic feeling about Christmas. It's another story where the church can come together and love people that they may not see as someone that looks like them or sounds like them, but it's a story about the Christmas story being for every person, no matter what they look like, how they act, who they are. Would you all suggest that I kick the Herdmans out of the Christmas pageant and keep them out of the church? Yes. There is way more to somebody that meets the eye. Who doesn't love a Christmas film that just makes everybody laugh and come together as a family and celebrate the true meaning of Christmas behind it? I think that the best Christmas pageant ever is really about community and people being quick to judge other people because of things that you really shouldn't judge people on. Hello, Imogene. You don't look like any Mary I've seen before. Hidden in this story of humor is this extremely profound message that you get closer to Christmas when you are seeing it through the eyes of the disadvantaged and through the setting of poverty. If you give a person love and attention and respect, then they seem to blossom more than others that are ignored. And when the Herbmans blossom, it's, it's amazing. In my fantasy, some family would see this movie in the theater and they would laugh and they would have so much fun that all the like emotion would like really stick around. I think Best Christmas Pageant Ever can fit into so many audiences right now who are thinking, I want real, I want nostalgic, I want timeless. I want something that I want to watch multiple times and that I can share with my kids and that reminds me of things that I've always loved. Jesus was born for the Herdmans as much as he was for us. We'd be missing the point of all of it if I turned them away. A story like this can open your heart. It's one of the powerful things about the book, and I hope it's one of the powerful things about the movie. It's just a reminder that everybody's invited to the party.